Good morning. Welcome to the Open World Forum. I'm here today with uh, Florian Montfort, who is a marketing team of a Document Foundation and uh, who is also a student at the France Business School. So, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Uh, so, can you explain us uh, what is the Document Foundation? Well, the Document Foundation is a new foundation based in Germany whose purpose is to further the development of LibreOffice, which is an alternative to Microsoft Office in Office Productivity Suit. So, where do you come from? Where, where does this, uh, this company come from? Where, what are your, your assets? Where, where? Well, basically, we were first a community working on forking the OpenOffice.R core code, basically. The one which has been developed uh, in the Sun community. Yeah, exactly. We forked it, and we worked to make it a little different because we wanted it to, let's say, go a little faster, um, to have a development that would make the library office projects, uh, let's say, that would give it more credits, at least uh, for enterprises and, and for organizations. So let's say it's a spin-off of uh, OpenOffice. Well, it's a of course, you can see it that way. That could work, I guess. No, but just to, uh, gi to give yeah, a... Yeah, to give a, the general idea is, uh, yeah, that's what we're trying to do here, making, making sure that LibreOffice can be used by everyone and for every purpose that touches office productivity. So, uh, no, you're based in Germany? Well, the foundation is uh, from the German law, yes. basically. And we have, of course, a lot of people that are German in the okay. foundation. Uh, that's where everything starts from now on. And, of course, we have a lot of different communities, especially the Brazilian one. The Brazilian one is maybe, uh, I'm not going to say a major, major community, but not the major one, but one of the major communities um, for library office development. Okay, so... You're here at the Open Forum to uh, explain what you're doing. Yeah. So can you explain me what you're doing now? Well, what is your, f what is your strategy? What is your uh, uh, next? Uh, so first, speak me, uh, tell me about your team, the, the, how you, you, you develop your product. Well, first there's the community, all those people working on the code and trying to improve LibreOffice. Um, and then the Document Foundation will come on top of that and try to organize uh, a little bit things, making sure that there are development teams, that we can do some community management and some promotion, of course. That's why there is a, a marketing team. Uh, of course, for now, the Document Foundation is not really structured. We are working on it. Uh, there is an event in Berlin in, uh, the on the 18th and the 19th, that we'll try to, um, with, with the help of talks, of course, uh, try to find ways to do things in more coordinated fashion. So this event would be open to the community? And to, yeah. to it's, a, it's a way for you to meet the community, to aggregate it, and exactly. to develop new uh, uh, trends in terms of exactly. development. Exactly. We are trying to make ourselves structured so we can provide also for the organizations a, a, better, a better support and a better under understanding of our product and what we do now. So what is your next uh, step in the next, uh, let's say, in the next six months? What, what, do you, what, what, what is your goal to, to reach? For the next six months, for the Document Foundation, it's all about finding a structure. And when it comes to LibreOffice itself, it's more about working on new functionalities and making sure that LibreOffice fits the new needs of uh, you, the average user, including uh, mobility and cloud computing. So what is uh, the market you uh, target? What kind of market do you target? Are you targeting specifically the enterprise business or are you targeting everybody uh, with the enterprise business? We're targeting everybody with the enterprise business. Okay. We think that LibreOffice can both be used in the enterprise and by the average user with having pretty much the same product. Meaning, for example, if you have LibreOffice with the average user, it has to be easy to use enough for the average user to use it. But we consider that in enterprises, there will also be some people who will not be experts in office productivity and who will need a, a simple, simple tool to be able to 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 make their their daily work basically. Okay, so I'm an end user. I'm yeah. a typical end user. So where could I get uh, this uh, library office? Actually, it's quite simple. You just go to libraryoffice.org. Of course, you have you know the language packs and everything you need if you're French, German. Uh, it's Asian. available in how how many language? Well, right now. I think I'm going to say something bad if I give any number. I'd say if a, a doz dozens of them. Okay. I'd say, of course, there are the main ones like German, French, 
Latin languages, we have support for Asian languages, and yeah. of course, it's improving and improving over time. Do you have, do you have any, uh, uh, any idea of uh, how many people are using it, and uh, who is using it, and how they're using it? Well, we can't exactly right now give you numbers because it's very, very hard to find out. What we can say is that at every version of LibreOffice, the number of downloads on our websites are just e absolutely exploding. Exploding. Yeah. Um, and we are, we are trying to find tools right now to be able to give you those numbers. Actually, this okay, is. Okay, so you're you're working on these tools. Yeah, okay. basically, that's what we're trying to achieve here as a structure. But what I can tell you is that our success can be me measured uh, with an infographic that we put over the internet and that gives numbers, precise numbers about uh, the downloads and also the number of developers that are contributing, which is very important. Like, what, w which companies are contributing the most? Who are the main developers and what is their part in the contribution? Uh, how many developers for each month do we have working on the code? Those yeah. are the numbers we have, and yeah. you could check them out on the internet. And uh, last question, uh, why should I use uh, Library Office? Well, first, because it's free and open source. Uh, first, there's free of charge, which is great, and, and not all open source projects are, are free of charge. Uh, it's open source, basically, so you have the freedom to modify it to your needs. To your needs, you, you have the the freedom to 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 use files that will be openable by any other uh, software. Okay. Um, and also, you will be you know capable of seeing the evolution of LibreOffice itself, and to be able to tell other people that there's this great software that is free, fast, effective, and that makes you happy in your work. And, and I won't have to pay if there is an improvement. A next version and so on. Of course not. Of course, okay. right now what I can tell you is every version is free. You can grab it on the internet in whatever way you want, uh, and you can just you know either contribute or just be a happy user. Okay, Florian, thank you very much. Yeah, bye. 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 Thank you.